Merry Christmas. Folks, this is your old friend Buck Helton coming to you from the Casas Adobes Rehabilitation Hospital in beautiful Tucson, Arizona. And even though this Christmas I'm somewhere I'd rather not be, I am so grateful for the calls, the letters, the cards, the prayers, and the many blessings I've had throughout this year. I wanted to give something to you. This is a poem I call A Cowboy's Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve out on the prairie in a shack there on the line. I was homed up there till springtime, tending half-frozen bovines. You'd blow your nose and get a snowball. That's how cold it was that night. I thought my eyes had done froze over when I'd be an old-time high-back buckboard, pulled there by an eight-mule team, with an extra one that perched up front, his bright nose all a gleam. It was piled high with bundles and shiny silver-mounted tack. Well, the driver, he leapt from his seat, then grabbed a gunny sack. He was clothed in dusty breeches and the drover's blouse of red, a bright holly green kerchief and a Stetson on his head, covered by an old red duster, silver spurs on mule-eared boots, a weathered face, a twinkling eye, a right cheerful old glute. He brushed the snow from off in his coat and stood there with a grin. I said, how about a cup of coffee? He smiled and came on in. He said his name was Sandy. He was out this Christmas Eve to give out gifts and remind folks of the greatest one received. Two thousand years ago or more in a manger did he lie. God's gift to man announced that night by a new star in the sky. First seen by humble shepherds, their flocks left on the hill. Others followed and journeyed on, and the wise men seek him still. Sandy handed me a concho belt, a pound of coffee, too. Arbuckle's best, with a peppermint stick, a mighty tasty brew. Well, I sure was glad to get them, and I thanked him like I ought. Not only for the presents, but the good news that he brought. You see, so many focus on the trimmings that the message is sometimes lost. For God so loved this world he made that Upon a rugged cross, his only son would bleed and die to pay the price for sin. He'll soon be back to take us home and gather us on in. Kind of like them long-eared mavericks would have got the urge to stray. We get stuck in snowbanks or a ditch till a cowboy saves the day and gathers us back into the herd when we're safe inside the fence. He does it because he loves us even though we've got no sense. Sandy's smile grew wide, and pearly teeth showed where he'd split his beard. He said, I'm glad to know you wear his brand. Now, you need not be afeard. But I've got to go and spread the news across these open plains. Well, he leapt into his buckboard and gathered up the reins, and soon he was plumb out of sight, though his jingle bob still rung there in my ears alongside of the good news that he brought. He sure left me some fine gifts, worthy of loud yeehaws. But the best one was to hear the gospel preached by Sandy Claus. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and remember, wise men.